if you look at uh, software today right it's become much easier to build software especially with ai but what about showcasing it to the world what about taking it to users what about getting them on board it and that content creation layer is still broken so we want to essentially make it so easy that anybody sitting in rio de janeiro or raipur is able to create content essentially helping you scale content creation at studio quality levels without having access to those kind of resources Hey everybody, welcome to uh, another edition of Intelligence Unscripted. I have with me co-founder of Troopier.ai, a very interesting uh, AI company, Shivali Goel. Welcome, Shivali. Uh, it's a pleasure having you here. Would love to hear about Troopier. What actually does it do? Absolutely. Uh, so essentially what we are doing at Troopier is democratizing content creation for software right okay, that sounds very generic so you got to be very specific <laughs> absolutely so so essentially if you look at uh, software today right it's e much it's become much easier to build software especially with ai but what about showcasing it to the world what about taking it to users what about getting them on board it and you know actually utilize that software right that content creation layer is still broken right it takes thousands of dollars per minute uh it takes weeks if not months there's a lot of agencies involved right so we want to essentially make it so easy that even like a product manager or a marketer or anybody sitting in rio de janeiro or raipur is able to create content without having you know that large an access to money or time right so what we essentially do is you do a very simple screen recording just like Like how you would do at Loom, and then we transform that into a studio quality video and document in literally seconds, right? At a fraction of the cost. Wow! So essentially, helping you scale content creation at studio quality levels without, uh, you know, having access to those kind of resources. Does it need to be a technical product, or like I want to know how to make uh, whatever banana bread, and I want to make a nice showcase video? Out of that, would you would you be able to do that as well? Uh, so currently, no. Currently, it's limited to software. So essentially, anything that you could record on a screen. On a screenshot. Okay. Yes. So I have a screenshot, or I have an idea about how to do something with, let's say, Google Sheets, and how, uh, how, uh, how to teach Excel or whatever. Like, I want to have some some content in mind. Yes. Uh, but I'm not a good person to. Create a beautiful showcase out of it. Yeah, that's where you come in. Absolutely. In fact, we have customers in Sweden, for example, who are creating WordPress tutorials using our platform. Right? They just get access to an easy way to create that at scale in any language, in any style. So you mentioned Rio de Janeiro, Raipur, and Sweden. <laughs> what, what is the connection between all of this? You are multilingual. Yes, there's a multilingual connection also because it's a digital product uh, that people discover online. So, like people end up discovering it in different parts of the world. So, we've been fortunate to. How, how did they discover? How did the person in Rio or Sweden discover you? So, interestingly, we we launched on Product Hunt a uh, couple of weeks back. Uh, we became product of the day and essentially almost got viral to an extent that. Congratulations! That doesn't happen so very much. often. Yes, and we got like much more votes than typically happen on a day like that, and like much larger than next in line. So we got covered by a lot of newsletters, like thirty to forty newsletters around the world, and that's how people started discovering us in different parts of the world. Yeah. That's terrific! Wow. So this just happened in like a couple of weeks ago. Yes. Yes. Awesome. And so are some of these people paying, or is it all free? Uh yeah, so we already have like thousands of uh, free users who are using the platform. How many videos have been generated? And besides videos, what else do you do? So we don't just do videos; we also do guides, right? So, for example, from the same screen recording, if you want a tutorial or let's say a user manual to be created, the same recording can be transformed into a guide with screenshots, titles, descriptions. All of that also auto-generated by AI. So a lot of users are finding value just with that. Um, in terms of the amount of contents, so around you know, ten thousand plus videos and documents have already been created in the last few weeks. With no hand touch, no nobody, mechanical mm -hmm. Turk sitting in the background. Absolutely, brilliant. absolutely. That's the thing that we feel most proud of. That. Most of our users are actually first-time content creators. They've never done this before, but they are discovering that this workflow is so powerful yet easy. Right? You don't need a video editor. You don't need a technical writer. You know, you don't need a team of experts to be able to help you con uh, create that content. You just need to have the context in your head, and AI does the rest. Essentially, how big is your company? Must have a hundred people sitting editing videos. No, it's actually just three of us full time right now, uh, and a couple of generous people who've been working with us part time. But that's it. Three people. Yes. 
what gives? How can three people and you all write code and all that, right? Absolutely. So, actually, I write uh, a lot of the code for the platform. Are you a coder by background? What's your background? No, I I am not. I am actually a management consultant by background. I was at BCG, um, and then I moved to startups where I was leading growth and you know product in that sense, but I never professionally coded. But like when I got introduced to AI, like that's the first thing that I started learning with it, right? Like I just magically discovered this new amazing power and it sort of enabled me to do so much more than you know what was in my head like put that into reality so it's just started tinkering more and more with it and say this is a fascinating story by itself tell me about your background what 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 did, what did you study when did you when did you graduate so i was at iit delhi um i was a chemical engineer uh, chemical engineer wow okay yes <laughs> so graduated in 2016 then joined bcg right after uh, there I was part of the TMD practice, the technology practice. So did a lot of digital projects, but obviously like it was more in consulting capacity. Was also a CEO ambassador uh, to the global CEO. So worked on high high strategy projects for BCG. Then uh, in 2020, I moved to startups. Uh, so first helped scale White Hat Junior, uh, especially the music business uh, that was you know being led by me. And then joined Pillow Fund, which was a crypto company. I was leading their growth. Interestingly, that also we scaled, uh, you know, in markets like Africa, Southeast Asia, sitting out of India. So, you know, global scale and distribution is something that uh, I'm used to doing. Fantastic. Made in India, global scale. Um, But I want to come back to touch on like, you know, coding. Because what you just described, you created 10,000 videos. 65 paying customers in a very short time, uh, you know, number one product of the day at Product Hunt. So the underlying software to create it, you know, used to, in a normal pre-AI world, would have taken months, right? If yeah. not a year, probably. Um, and how long did it take you to build and how did you build it? And you and the two other people, presumably. Yeah. Uh, so um, it took us around two months to build the first prototype. Uh, and then we were right treating a lot with our founder. So you were just using chat GPT to code? No, not entirely. Obviously, it was like it was uh, being used for help, right? Like wherever we were getting stuck. And, you know, it definitely accelerates everybody. That's the good thing about it, that even for an advanced coder, there are just so many mundane parts of the code that they just don't want to write, which chat GPT helps them write. For me specifically, it was an enabler because uh, I always had the logic in my head. Like I would always guide product teams or engineering teams okay this is how you can do it stitch this together like this is how the workflow makes sense but like I could never translate that into real code myself right because I didn't know the syntax I didn't know the languages I didn't know the frameworks so AI just enabled me to do that right so the first thing that I built myself was let's say you know just a voice recorder that takes notes or while you're speaking it's like an auto kind of yeah yeah and I did that over a weekend Right. A full <laughs> stack application from front end to back end. Nice. Built over a weekend. And so that gave me the confidence that, okay, yes, this is a very basic prototype. It obviously doesn't work at scale. But like, if I could do this over a weekend, I know so many engineers who would take much longer to do this. Right. So it's a, it's a force multiplier. So just started doing more and more of it. And then, you know, one thing led to the other and started contributing on the production level code at Rupia. Yeah. No, that's. Phenomenal. And these 10,000 pieces of content that you've created, videos and documents and so on and so forth, are you hosting them as well or do you just give it off to them? Yes, that's the other part that we strongly believe in is that we are not a point solution that only helps you in creation. We all also think that distribution of it is supremely important. So like we have our own sharing pages, we have, you know, we have smart widgets coming up that will just enable you to, uh, you know, showcase that content to your customers to stakeholders etc and then over time we could also build uh, agentic experiences on top of that right tell me about that what does it mean so essentially like there's so much content that we are creating right so we become that system of record almost for that rich data right in the company that what are the product features what are the workflows you know what are the different functionalities now you could build the most powerful agentic experiences on top of that uh, because you have the most up-to-date knowledge about that software, right? So let's say if you ask a question that I don't know how to, uh, you know, put a purchase order in SAP, right? Instead of just recommending an answer, we're also recommending a video, mm-hmm. right? Which is perfectly indexed to that particular timestamp. So, you know, those are the kind of experiences that become possible with much rich content being created, which is currently a challenge with AI agents. 
Now, tell me one thing, Shivali. So, the, the, there's a whole lot of players in this. The content creation is a very broad statement. Yes. Um, where do you draw the lines? Like, where do you draw the lines now? And then, of course, in future, I'm sure you have bigger ambitions. But we'll talk about the future later. Where do you draw the lines on where you play and where the ecosystem plays? And how do you, who is the ecosystem and how do you play with them? Yeah. So, uh, that's a very valid point. Obviously, there are a lot of people who are focusing on content creation in general. I think... For us specifically, uh, content creation for software, right? That is in a beast, uh, that in itself is a beast, right? Like there are more and more software companies coming up. Software companies spend so much on sales, marketing, adoption. So solving that uh, intentionally is something that we are focused on, right? Which means that building that end-to-end -end workflow all the way from recording to then transforming it in the desired format, in the desired language, in the desired structure, then enabling these sharing workflows, enabling the right integrations with, let's say, a Slack or a Jira or a Confluence, right? Wherever you would want to host that content or, you know, make it discoverable. And then the agentic experiences that I talked about, right? So we want to be that full stack product content creation, uh, you know, player for a company right so that has much more to do than just the ai or just the content creation the content creation aspect is a wedge right it it is a you know it's such a powerful thing that people switch to us but like that's not the only thing they'll stick around for right the other thing which we are very bullish on is personalization at scale right which means that what does that mean that's been like sort of the dream forever for everybody absolutely so if you look at sales teams today right they, in some scenarios, in fact, I was talking to a customer just today morning, they, a sales guy has to send some hundred videos, custom looms for each of their customers. They are compelling, they work, but like they're very hard to do, right? And sales teams are not well versed with, okay, how to make them, how to personalize, right? It's just a big hassle. So what we can essentially enable them to do is that you take one single recording and we can magically transform and customize that into thousands of customer contexts with their own names, their own personal challenges, brand customization, et cetera, et cetera, right? So all of the personalization on top of the base content can be powered by us, right? Do you partner with any of the other guys who are playing in this, like different avatars and so on and so forth? So we do have some interesting partnerships coming around. Uh, you know, we haven't announced anything okay. yet. So the, the, it'll come soon. Yes. Very cool. Yeah. And, and, that, and that is the direction you're going. You, you yes. want to partner with, uh, with, with players in this space. Yes. Who can, who can complement what you do. Absolutely. Right. Like complementary partnerships with global players who already have the distribution and are looking for a product like ours. Um, because, you know, global scale is something that we are very, very clear of. And we've been fortunate to get that interest uh, from some big players. So, like, we're interested in doing those. Yeah. So, just back to the core product, you mentioned that uh, you focus on software. Software, matlab, it could be a general, any web yeah. app, kind of uh, the how-to videos uh, and documentation that goes with it. Does it apply to any sort of, does it need to be software or does it apply to any sort of anything that can be screen grabbed? Is that? Yes, we've had scenarios in which people use it even for presentations or like, let's say Figma design right. and those kind of walkthroughs. Uh, I won't say the solution is fully optimized for those workflows. The solution works best when there's, you know, a clickable walkthrough. So you're very clear in your head. I want to, you want to for razor like focus on. Yes. Which is big enough a market to your point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like if there are people who find enough value in something like that, we don't stop them from using it, but we obviously don't optimize the experience for those. Yeah. Right. And you yourself are a SaaS platform, I presume. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it's it's more like a usage play, right? We don't believe in seats, right? Because we our main value add is the creation that we do, right? So we charge for creation. So it's like per per unit of content created? Yes. So like we have monthly subscriptions, but there's like usage limits. So like you could buy a $49 pack or which has 20 videos and 20 documents, right? So like... Yeah. Uh, yeah, some it's very similar to all the other guys who are packaging eleven lab. I think everybody seems to be in that zone of that seems to be the pricing model that is evolving. Yes, yes. Right? The amount but, of basically month per month usage with some limits on the pieces of content uh, yes. that create. Um so Shivali, I would love to know what, what the future is. Like assume you're wildly successful. Uh what does year one, year two look like, year three look like, year five look like? What what's what's your dream? So I, I would say the larger vision, like at least even before I started Trupia, for me was that I saw this in my own journey that an AI is an enabler, right? Like one person sitting at home can 
can make so much progress without having funds, without having resources, without having a team, right? So I think that's our larger vision, like enabling millions of people around the world, irrespective of their resources or time, to be able to put professional quality content and, you know, sell whatever they're selling or onboard, you know, whatever they're trying to onboard people on, right? The building part is being taken care of, let's say, Cursor or Claude or some of these companies. Uh, the communication part is something that we want to be the go-to platform for. So you want to own the piece of how, once they build it, how do they showcase it? Yes. How do they kind of tell the world what they have? Yes. In a, in a very professional, high yes. quality way, which... Otherwise, would they would have to go to agencies and spend millions of... Exactly. Professional way, personalized way, right? Like language itself is such a big thing, right? There are these European customers we have who are selling to a global audience, but they don't know how to speak English, right? So it's just opening up access, uh, you know, from from their perspective. And in India too, obviously, it's a big... Absolutely, we yes. Have so many languages. Yes. Um, hey, this is very powerful. Thanks very much for coming. Anything else you would like to add um, on your journey and... no I think that, that that's all really nice speaking to you Bala thank you for taking out the time and uh, yeah would love for people to check out Rupia it's free to use so Shivali would love to see a product demo uh, of how this uh, actually how it works I think I have a, a broad idea but I think it would be great for the audience to see a demo for sure would love to show you definitely this is a walkthrough of the Trupeer platform made on Trupeer to get started once you sign up you can upload an existing video and transform that into a professional video and document, or you can do a new recording. Once you click here, our Chrome extension will open up. You can very easily do a screen record like you would normally do. Uh, so today um, we will learn uh, how to use uh, VLOOKUP. Uh, first, we will go to the cell where you want to put the formula. Within just a minute, we've been able to create a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide with each step clearly written, accompanied by the relevant screenshot and highlight. If I want to make further edits to this document, I'll click on Edit. This brings up a markdown editor. Here I can make any changes I need, whether that's adding bold or italic text or even underlining. It gives me full flexibility to make the necessary edits. If I need to pick any specific screenshot, I can simply click on the screenshot picker. This allows me to choose the relevant screenshot directly from the video and add it to the document seamlessly. Just like that, you can easily make changes to your document. Once you're satisfied, simply save the changes. You can then share the document with your team in various formats like PDF, Word, or Markdown. 2PS Platform also creates studio quality video instantly Let's see how our video has turned out. Today, we're going to learn how to use VLOOKUP in Excel. Let's start by navigating to the cell where we want to enter the formula. Next, we'll choose our reference cell, which in this case is cell G14. Now we need to select the database from which the information will be fetched. We can easily make changes to the video. Adjusting the script is as simple as editing text. We can also modify the AI voiceover. There are multiple options to choose from, including different accents. We can even change the background music. We can select various visual effects to enhance the video. You can see the changes happening in real time and preview the video. Once you're satisfied, just click Publish Video to get the final output. Thank you.